Lawsuit filed in federal court against a sheriff's office here in the east. There are claims of discrimination of the Beaufort County Sheriff's Office by a former employee. Now, on your side, Amber Joseph joins us in the studio with more of the allegations. Amber. Ken, today I spoke with two former deputies with the Beaufort County Sheriff's Office. They say they were called racial slurs while working for the office and believe this treatment is still happening. So far, only one has taken legal action against the Sheriff's Office. Former Beaufort County Sheriff Deputy Michael Shepard filed a lawsuit against the Sheriff's Office last week, accusing them of job discrimination in violation of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. In the lawsuit, which Nottinger Side has obtained, it states discrimination happened between October 2016 and February 2017. Shepard says he did file a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission of Retaliation after reporting that a co-worker was being called racist names, which he says is why he was fired. Documents show the EEOC did find the sheriff's office in violation of retaliation. Sheriff Ernie Coleman, Chief Deputy Charlie Rose, Lieutenant Kelly Cox, and Sergeant William Raglan were named in the lawsuit. I spoke to Chief Deputy Rose today and he says he's unaware of the lawsuit. Another former deputy plans to file a lawsuit against the office claiming racial discrimination. The man who wants to remain anonymous says he started working for the sheriff's office in July 2015 and experienced a racially charged hostile work environment. He says that there were several incidents that happened which he reported to human resources but nothing happened. Instead he says the office retaliated. We'll continue to follow this story and update you as more information is released. In the studio, Amber Joseph, not on your side. Amber, thank you. Teachers in the East are still fighting for public schools.